which is the best gaming ROM and gaming kernel for the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Panchi here. Back with another video and in this video I'm going to tell you which is the best gaming ROM and gaming kernel for the POCO X3 Pro. Now, when I tell you that this is the best, I'm pretty sure you're going to laugh at me but I am going to give you valid reasons. So in my humble opinion, the best gaming ROM for the POCO X3 Pro along with the best gaming kernel is MIUI and let me explain why for starters you get something called game turbo now at the time of recording this video i am running game turbo 4.0 again this is game turbo 4.0 which has been released only in china for now and it might come with miui 13 but you can install this on miui 12 and miui 12.5 without having to root your device and of course the video for that can be found in the description of this video so first of all let us look at the features of this game turbo so of course you do get your cpu usage gpu usage fps but if you tap on this text in chinese you will get two different options so the green one here is your balanced profile this is something which you can use when you've been gaming for say an hour or something and you notice that you know there are some lags some jitters turn over to this profile when you start the game use this one this is your performance profile in this one there are no thermal limitations as in like of course there are some maximum but it's at the peak performance this is your performance profile and this of course will result in some battery drain and eventually when you game for one hour two hour the phone is going to heat up a little all but normal and this is one of the pretty impressive features of game turbo 4.0 then this here is dnd or do not disturb this option here the scissors take a screenshot this option here video camera start your screen recorder this option here is to open the brightness slider and once you switch over to landscape mode let me see if i can get this switched over so yep here it is we are in landscape mode and now if i tap on this bulb icon here it is i do get the brightness slider and it does work without any issues here it is you can see it is working then the next option you have here is to turn off your wi-fi switch between the different data cards cast the gameplay turn off the screen you know you're playing game mom and dad come inside the room turn off the screen right away oh I was not playing any game you know then you also have the next option of changing the display profiles again this option might be device specific along with the voice changer and the first option here is to clear your ram there it is clearing the ram any background apps hogging the resources killed with the click of a button then if you go into settings here and you have more settings for starters master toggle for game turbo in-game shortcuts right home page orientation home page shortcut for quite these performance mode performance mode one more time wi-fi optimization present optimize touch controls present enhanced audio present then more performance optimization the master toggle for that right avoid overheating and hardware related issues you can do this as well memory exceptions so let us say talk to your girlfriend talk to your boyfriend while gaming in floating window make sure you add that application over here so let us say you can always add your whatsapp or say facebook facebook messenger and when you clear the ram the application will not be killed so you will still get messages from your girlfriend or your boyfriend if applicable then you also have game dnd mode you can enhance the experience so turn off auto brightness option there turn off reading mode option is there restrict the screenshot gesture option is there this is one of the most common issues when you're gaming with the claw setup right screenshot or your notification shade opens again another very common issue so you can disable all these options then you can also restrict buttons and gestures go into additional settings and you can configure your touch response your sensitivity your touch resistant area and your display enhanced visuals on a per game basis tell me which custom rom out there which is based on aosp gives you all these features my answer is i don't think so there is any aosp rom which gives you so many features with respect to gaming i mean the optimization you can do over here 
the boundaries are endless if you know what you are doing another thing most custom roms which are based on aosp the developers never claim we made this rom for gaming and worst part they have become so irritated with youtubers selling custom roms as gaming roms that now if you go to a telegram channel of a custom rom or a telegram group and you ask about gaming some of them give you a free warning some of them ban you outright they've become so frustrated right and why because youtubers for views for clicks they sell you custom roms as gaming roms whereas the person who created the rom they themselves say we did not create this for gaming miui is giving you a bunch of features but just because somebody out there sold you a custom rom as a gaming rom you believe him you believe them your personal preference next up let us go into settings and about phone all the specs the kernel here is already perf kernel this means the kernel which is present in miui is already a performance based kernel and the biggest proof of this is the fact that people who make gaming roms which are based on miui right they take the base either as xiaomi eu or there is this another rom which says we are the best and we are on the top of everything we are the best gaming rom out there they use perf kernel why because you already have a pretty dope kernel baked in pretty simple and what do these miui based custom roms do for starters i will tell you their model their model is to give you free stuff which looks good and then try to sell you a paid rom that is what their business model is because if you have a look at their change log two things they do deodex and debloat rest of the things visual changes we added what four charging animations how the hell on earth is that affected to my gaming i don't know I, I don't get it we changed this toggle how is that related to my gaming i personally do not get it debloat let us talk about debloat first so what is debloat debloat is basically you're removing the application hoping that it won't run in the background but captain obvious which is why you have the clear all button in your game booster or your game turbo right it kills all the applications in the background that is one thing the other thing if you know what you're doing in today's world you can debloat your device using ladb without root without access to a computer and you can freeze the applications which is as good as debloating how do you do that video for that can be found in the description of this video the next thing these custom roms do alleged custom gaming roms based on miui what they do deodex what is deodex so android has apks apks have code and then they have resources like images icons in an odex system both of those things are inside the apk in a deodex system they separate those so what is the advantage of deodexing read xta developers read the forums deodexing helps you in theming when what the hell on earth does theming adding more icon packs adding more charging animations on my lock screen have to do with my gaming nada 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 null 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 zero 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 nothing so how on earth does deodexing improve my game performance i don't me personally i don't get it if deodexing increased the performance and made gaming better why the hell on earth would the likes of google samsung xiaomi realme oxygen os why would all of them ship odexed roms because clearly odexed roms are better why on earth would a company not want its gaming performance to be the best if it can be done with a deodexed rom i don't get it right so in my humble opinion these are just like ways and tricks of telling you that oh we did something and then the placebo effect kicks in wherein you're happy with the free rom because somebody said it is the best gaming rom some random youtuber some random youtuber sold you a gaming rom you bought the free version and then you bought the paid version i don't get it me personally i think you are wasting your money wasting your time that's what you are doing getting kicked out of telegram groups getting banned from telegram groups for talking about gaming my humble opinion 
stick with me why tune your device to your personal needs using game turbo and you will be more than happy with the performance of miui on the poco x3 pro with performance or perf kernel and there it is peeps that was my opinion about the best rom and the best kernel for gaming on the poco x3 pro and of course i can only give you advice rest it is up to you it's your money it's your time so do whatever you feel like doing with it but i said what i had to and i gave my opinion and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you